So this is just an add-on to the last video. So the L actually represents a cross. So the L made by the above dimension, the zenith in the North Pole, which is how our relationship to how we come into the world, so the world before us, where my unborn children live in the North, but they also live in the ether, which surrounds and communicates through all things, through a dielectric field shared by the sun. So the Son of Man encompasses a wide level of nourishment and communication, much as everything can be communicated through your mother's blood, so through the etheric blood of the cosmos. Right? And in lots of things, lots of unlawful things, whose unlawfulness is reversed onto the scapegoat like Jesus, and all kinds of incestuous uh, implications to the nature of his so-called birth and psychological castration, which is what happens to everyone literally and figuratively in, a, in an elementary world. Right? right? George Bush was sitting in an elementary school when they performed an elementary Saturnalian ritual. Right? And uh, a creation story, really. 9-11 was a creation story. And it was mass hypnosis. It was a massive spell. Now, the L made with the zenith in the north also makes a cross because the north goes into the south and the zenith goes into the nadir. And we are to be anchored in the nadir and the zenith and the north and the south and to make this grand cross, the cross of man. And you see, of course, the illumination of the east and the west, which is shared by all of the relationships of all of the different coordinates of our lives, all immersed in the prima materia, the primal medium of the ether, the amniotic energy of a mother's womb, and all of the kinds of organs of nature, man, and creation of creative intelligence in life and death, in all that is up and down and cold and hot and painful and joyful. All that is taken up in establishing the flesh of the past, fleshing out the future, right, 